Now, senior UDA leaders on Monday issued demands to wipe party leader Kalonzo Musyoka after he met with former President Uru Kenyatta, National Assembly Majority Leader Kimani Shungwa, and his Senate counterpart Aaron Chiriot fired at Kalonzo asking him to tell Uhuru Kenyatta to come clean on alleged plunder during his tenure. The two leaders claimed that Uhuru decided to make a public appearance on Sunday after learning that there was a plan to kickstart the process of setting up a state capture commission. Coincidentally, the two leaders are part of the National Dialogue Committee, co-chaired by Kalonzo Musyoka and Kimani Shungwa. Kimani Shungwa said this in the court, it is time we had a candid discussion with Uru Kenyatta on the economy, the effects of state capture on the economy and on the mess we are sorting in the country's economy. Please get him on stage and of course. Ishungwa added that he was grateful Kalonzo had brought the former president back to the political scene. He explained that this was the only way that Kenyans would be able to know the truth about how much taxpayers' money was plundered during Uhuru's presidency. Agreeing with his National Assembly counterpart and fellow National Dialogue Committee member, Chiriot remarked that the Kenya Kwanzaa administration was on course to recover looted public resources. He explained that the only reason Uhuru came back into the limelight was to sabotage the proposed state capture commission. This is some Cuba news.